This is Tanglewood, a 50-foot cruiser stern narrowboat built in 1999 by Hallmark Narrowboats and fitted out very nicely, I must say, by her original owner. There's a storage box on the roof there. The paintwork's in lovely condition. And you may or may not agree with me as we go through. I think she's a lovely boat. Real character. Real charm. Very sweet well deck here. The gas lockers are at the stern, so there's good space here. The cratch cover's in very good condition. The well deck is four feet six long of usable space. And that leads straight into the saloon. Lovely pine tongue groove to the cabin sides and the ceiling. The large sofa bed here, very comfy and very easy to erect into the, the bed arrangement. I've done it. Solid fuel stove here, boatman that is. Nice condition. And these inner doors, very pretty, very practical for keeping in or out children, dogs, in laws whatever it may be. And the storage in that step there and a storage cabinet box there. You could put a cushion on that and that's another seat. Very large this room. It's 14 feet long including the dining area which you'll see in a minute. Opposite the sofa is the TV point, and a table for the television there and a cupboard underneath. That's the back of the JVC CD stereo system. And one feature of this boat is the use of space. Look at all these cupboards. I could have an awful lot of sport with those, but I shall resist the temptation. This is the dining area I mentioned. This table is very easily removable for extra space. And the couch on the other side, the calorifier sits under that. It's the hot water tank. I'll just show you a couple of these cupboards. I won't get carried away. Panic not. That's the room from uh, the view from the galley, rather. Feels very spacious, lots of light. There are six coach style windows, they have hopper openers on board. And into the galley. Cupboard next to the fridge here. The fridge is a shoreline 12 volt. There's an ice box in there. And quite a useful cupboard under the sink here. Next to that sits the drop-in cooker. That's a New World Vision four burner gas hob and very clean oven and grill. The Aldi gas boiler sits next to that. The gas boiler serves the central heating on board and the hot water. The engine itself doesn't heat the hot water. It's just the gas. There's the space. The galley is six foot nine inches long. Head height on the boat I didn't mention is six foot four. Down the corridor here, more cupboards under the gunnels. And the bathroom sits just on the port side in here. Ceramic basin, the loo's a Thetford cassette with a spare cassette. There's a radiator in here. And the shower cubicle is a curtained one. Vinyl lined. With some useful cupboards next to it for towels, linen, whatever else you might wish to keep in the bathroom. Bottle of gin. Who knows? Each their own. The door to here is a sliding one. Very practical, those. I love this woodwork. My boat was like this, so uh, perhaps why I have a particular penchant for it. A couple of useful storage drawers under the wardrobe here. Into the bedroom we go. The bedroom is nine feet long. The bed itself is six foot two inches long. Some very good sized drawers underneath. And at the foot of the bed, there's a cupboard here with double cupboard above that. And behind this panel, various electrical bits. There's the 1600 watt inverter, and there are the fuse isolation switches. Onboard power is from landline or the inverter there. And a very large double wardrobe at the other end of the bed. She was last blacked in 2015. Four new anodes were put on then. 
Out onto the stern deck, the Vetus engine is under here, nice and clean. That's been regularly serviced every year by CB Boats, and the last oil and filter change was January of this year, 2018. The gas bottles, by the way, are under that locker there. There's a nice pram hood that covers this deck for inclement weather. There's a photograph of that erected on the, the website in the brochure. Very easily erected and dismantled. Back through the boat we go. She's really charming, this boat. She feels so much more roomy than a 50-foot cruise. I lived on a 50-foot cruiser for seven years, and uh, I can tell you it certainly felt less spacious than this. It's a source of constant fascination to me how the, the layout of a boat can change so substantially the feel. So there we go, out onto the well deck. Tanglewood, she'll make a lovely home, lovely holiday boat, very nice condition. For further photographs and a fully downloadable brochure, Go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk